This is an animation on using the PolyPerfect Low Poly Animated People Pack. Um, it has this great cool thing called the Wonder Script, but for some reason I can't get it to work and I already know what I want to do in Playmaker. So this is how to use these assets really, really simple in like a minute. Okay, so we go over to Playmaker and if we go to our Low Poly People and we go to Prefabs, grab the hazmat suit guy. That was creepy. I don't want him. Um, let's do the farm guy. Let's kind of hang out there. And if you play, sometimes the wonder script works, and sometimes it just locks in place. Or the the um, randomization, regardless of the scripting, doesn't trigger, and it doesn't really give you too many clues. So I'm gonna get S X out of here and you'll you'll notice there's a whole package here and I'm sure it's wonderful, but I just need to get going here. So I wanna do my animations manually because we know how to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and check that off. We're not gonna be using the wonder script on this guy and we're gonna actually not use the controller. So select that, hit delete. Now he's all on our own. So you go back to, um, this is the poly pack and we go to um, animation controllers and we're to make our own animation controller right click create animation controller and I'm vain I'm going to call everything JS so we can track everything and an animation controller is actually what that does it controls it but we're not going to be using their script we're going to do it manually so click on this guy here the farm man, <clears throat> go to Playmaker, add a new FSM, and we're just going to have a loop to show we can control this, this guy here. So we're just going to go do a wait, and we're going to wait for five seconds, and then we're finished. Whoa! Some space here. Finished event, new event, next. Not very creative. Click this to create the tab, control drag over, same deal, wait, another three seconds, finish, new event, back, click this, bring our tab back over, and there's our two flip floppies, all right? So he's gonna do something for five seconds, and then he's gonna do something else for three seconds, and then go back. Now if we go back to our animation controller, Project, animation controllers, if you just double click what we made. And animation controllers, uh, zoom with your wheel. Press the wheel in the center to pan it around. All right, so this is what houses all the animations and the logic control them. So we're gonna go to the, the folder called animations. So we're gonna click in place and idles. All right, so the generic one will have Mm, we'll have this guy just waving, right? So inside of this container, there's this main file and the actual animation script. You may recognize this logo as the Mixamo logo. This is actually the data for animation. So we're just gonna click this, Control D to make a copy of it. And just for kicks, keeping on with the same vein thing, I'm gonna go JS underscore waving. And our alternate state, when he's not waving, we'll have him uh, texting. So expand that out, click on that file, control D to copy it, and then we'll, <sighs> sorry, I still have that cold thing. And JS texting, okay? Those are all files. So the first thing you drag on the stage is the default that it's gonna start with. So I'm gonna do, he's just waving like a fool, right? So he just waves, that's all he does. If I drag the controller onto our character it'll just start waving okay um, but the alternate state is he's going to text okay I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit here so it's gonna start waving now we need logical transitions so I'm gonna right click make a transition sorry it has a little arrow now this guy right click make a transition back so this guy to trigger it from waving we're going to go down here, click the transition arrow, and we're going to add a trigger. And we'll call this cell. Okay, now we're going to set up the trigger. Click on the little wire, 
go to inspector and it's just kind of waving 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 and we are not going to wait for the animation to finish its cycle we're going to do it immediately once we trigger this thing and it's going to go from waving to texting and our condition is going to be it's going to be cell that's all you have to do and then going back up we're going to have it jump back up and it's going to have an exit time of of infinite so it's going to keep doing its thing okay and that's all you have to do so if you go back to our farm man okay and go back to playmaker our next state we do nothing our back state we're going to wait and then we're going to do an action and we're going to try trigger and we're going to set trigger set animator trigger and the trigger is a cell. It doesn't pre-fill, you have to know what it is. And that is it, because our animator knows to go back to its state. <clears throat> and that's it, so you have to go ahead and hit play. Whoa, guess what we didn't do? Uh, what we didn't do was go to low poly. We have to add our the animation controller we created. That's this guy. So go back to this four man. There is no animation controller, so we're simply gonna drag what we made right up in there and then hit play. <clears throat> so dude, he's kind of waving. Hello. Oh, and then he checks his cell. And then he goes back to waving for five seconds and then hangs out and then he checks his cell again. And that's pretty much it. And then on the logic side, if you wanted to see what actually is going on, we can go to our FSM, watch the FSM in time, and then also watch the animator going, and hit play. So it's waving, five seconds. I guess he doesn't wave over and over again. Oh, well, checks his cell phone. And then you can do with this, with any other animations, just drag them right in place. All right, hopefully that helps and I'll see you next time.